What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Melissa, but you can call me Lessa, you know, whatever you like. And today I'm actually going to show you guys exactly what I do after I'm... Someone just beeped. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do after I go thrifting. And I'm gonna show you all the steps I take as soon as I get home and I feel so much better. Last week I was a little sick, had the little sniffles, but this week is way, way better. And I didn't even know I was gonna go thrifting, but I just been just so bombarded with school stuff that I'm just like, I need to go thrifting, like I need to. So, bitch, I got y'all. And let's, let's go to the floor. I got two bags, one. And this is a little bag. Only spent a hundred dollars on the things that I got. <sighs> Great. Bag one. Bag two. So the first thing I do is actually detag everything. And while I'm detagging, I separate it into piles. I do all the tops. And then I do all jackets and stuff that I can wear over like a tank top or something. And then I do all bottoms and then I'll do another pile for two piece sets. And I also make a pile for things I'm gonna cut or crop or do whatever I need to do. And I'm also gonna show you guys what I got. So all of my tags have staples, so it's not that hard to take off. But I really got this really cute two piece set. I don't know if I wanna crop this but it has some really thick, nice trouser pants that are high-waisted that go with it. And this is in perfect condition and I love this color. So I was thinking about cropping this. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but. Really cute yellow polo, love this. All right, so I'm done. I have two piece sets, tops and sweaters, stuff I need to crop right here, a couple bottoms, and then I have some jackets here and then a purse. Next thing that I do is go ahead and crop everything that I need to crop. And I don't use these janky little scissors. I use some good scissors. I recommend you guys the best, but some good scissors. I use Fiskars one from Joanne's Fabric Store and i think they were like 40 dollars for some scissors there was actually some scissors for like 100 and i was like ah bitch no let me go get them so these are the scissors that i use these are the fiskars ones that are like 30 dollars, 40 dollars. but you can always get a coupon on joanne's store um online or through the app and they've lasted me for like a year already i'm gonna go ahead and crop all of that pile almost done
and cropping everything so what i do now is actually just wash all of the clothes i try to stay away from things that i can't wash and i try to stay away from things that need too much like spot cleaning because or things that are like too too like stinky because sometimes even when you wash them like cigarette smoke like all of that is so hard to get out and it's really only because i use a scent free um detergent because i'm hella sensitive i'm sensitive to everything so i can't really use any like fabric softener or anything like that so i've had people ask me like what do you do for items that you can't really wash and i just stay away from them or just spot clean them or take them to the cleaners if there's something that you really need to wash that's pretty much all i do and then after that i just take all the pictures i put them back in the piles and just take all the pictures and usually my piles are a lot bigger so i usually wash them per pile because i usually leave like pants and to be sets last because oh they're so annoying to keep <laughs> trying on and off because those i actually have to get on the floor and take pictures too for tops it's like take one on or take one off put one on take one on take you know what i mean i need to learn how to sew because i always get left with a bunch of fabric and i never know what to do with it and so I feel like I'm just wasting a lot of fabric. If you have any ideas of what I can do, uh, let me know. Hello, OOTD, thrifted polo sweater, men's, duh, comfy, duh. Cute biker shorts, they make my butt look good, I ain't gonna lie. And then I have my Air Maxes. I've had some people ask me which ones are these. I think these are the 360s. I've been using a new foundation and I actually love how it turned out today. My skin looks very matte, very, very matte. It is very matte, but it lasts forever. I used to use this a long time ago. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'm in the shade 107. What I was using before for Depop pictures is, this is my ride or die. I love this thing. I love this foundation. I will never stop using this foundation. This is like $5 and I would mix the two colors together. I love mixing the dewy and the matte. I like the Fenty one too. But um, I just, it creases a lot on me. I don't know. I kind of look powdery. It's a little too matte. Honestly, the price difference between these two, I would much rather get the L'Oreal one. And sometimes I do mix NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop because I love this color. It's like a good olive yellow color with this color. If you're interested, I am Golden Beige mixed with a little bit of Caramel. And if I mix it with this, I use Neutral Buff. This is Paola's video of things you can do um, with your inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and start cropping some of these things. The pile of clothes that I washed are here. I usually just keep them on this bench. So when I take pictures and I'm ready to take pictures, I will take them all and do that real quick. So hopefully I can do that probably tonight. I'm going to study right now for a few hours. If you're interested, I do have the links to the light boxes and ring light that I use. It's always in all of my videos. Just scroll all the way to the bottom of my description and you'll see the things that I use. And I always put my backdrop and all that on there too. So in case you want to know and you're wondering, I do keep them in the description. And also I always put um, other tips and other videos that you guys can watch that kind of relate to the video you're watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was kind of short, but I just thought it would be helpful just so you guys know like the process of what I do when I go thrifting. This is a small little thrift. I usually sometimes can spend up to like 200, up to 500. Um, that's the most I've spent, which was my last thrift video. Next time I go thrifting, which will definitely be this week coming up, I'm going to take you guys with me. You already know, trip to the thrift. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the little bell so you know when I upload two times a week. And yeah, make sure you stay motivated, productive. Keep going. Keep doing what you do. Binge watch all my videos because you know you want to. And it's all good vibes over here. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh. Follow me on all my social media, O underscore it's Lissa. That's all my social media, TikTok, Instagram, Depop. Let me follow you, girl.